Okay, riff number 19, I'm going to take that riff that I just did in number 18, and I'm going to combine it with a little bit of that Chuck Berry number 2 riff we did a little earlier, in a sense. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to start out with riff 18, just as we did, straight up to the high A note. But then I'm going to come back down that pentatonic pattern and end up on my low A string. It's a very common riff. And the way we do this quickly, okay, you might notice I put in a pull off there. Let's talk about this riff just a little bit. When I said I was combining riff 18 with Chuck Berry number two, Chuck Berry number two, if you remember, was like this. And we had that pull off in there. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the high A note and do the pull off. I'm doing that in riff number 19. Watch. And then continuing down the main pentatonic. So there we have the the third string, seventh fret. I'm bending it and releasing it. Pulling off to the fifth fret with my first finger and ending up on my root note A. this out slowly but eventually build it up to being pretty quick. Again, a lot of these riffs, if you're playing them slowly, maybe they don't sound so much like the like the lead guitar riffs that you that you are looking for, but when you take the time to build them up in speed, then you'll start to go, "Aha, now it sounds like the way I remember Van Halen playing that riff or Jimmy Page." A lot of times you just have to build up the speed before you really hear that yes, this is a very common classic riff, alright? So that was riff number 19.